May I have your attention, please? This young lady stole my heart. Not at first instance, but at first service. Look around you, everything is well set. We have a lot of choice drinks on the tables, being served by some of the most beautiful ushers you can find anywhere in the world. And it's all because of the young lady standing by my side, Miss Violet Adams. She runs a successful agency that provides ushering services. And I want to thank her for electing to help us put this event together for our beloved fans. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for <laughs> Miss Violet Adams. As you all know, I support young, thriving businesses. And I encourage you all to do likewise. And in keeping with that, I'd like to support your business with the sum of 10 million naira. What did you do to deserve that now? I didn't do anything, no. I am as surprised as you are. Uh -uh. He just gave you 10 million naira, just like that. Big, sir, big. He has not given me. Never give me. Uh, you know how all these rich men and politicians like to run their mouths? Maybe he's just doing it to impress his fan club people. Who knows? If he really meant to give me that money, why didn't he call me aside? He decided to announce it to the whole world. So he did not discuss it with you first? Not at all. Yeah. He did not mention it to me. But you know me, I'm not moved by what these men say. Rich men and politicians, liars. All they do is make noise, no action. I'm not moved. All I want is my balance. He still owes me 500,000 naira. Mm. He has not paid me. He should just give me my balance. That's what I want. Yay! Hello, sir. My dear, when are you coming? Um, tomorrow, sir. Okay. See you in the morning. Okay, sir. Bye, good night. <laughs> Okay, sir. Violet Adams. Yes. Mr. Chris will be with you now. Okay, so I can. Yes, uh, you can. Thank you. You're welcome. Violet. Good morning, sir. Good morning. You're welcome. <coughs> I'm fine, sir. You're welcome. Sit, sit, thank sit. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. I'm glad you came to see me. And what's all this sir, sir, sir you're calling me? Call me Chris. We're friends now, ain't we? Yes, we are. Good, good, good. I must say, I'm in awe of what you look like well, in, in informal clothes. Don't get me wrong, I'm simply saying you're smashing. Thank you, sir. Um, so you said I should pass by this morning to pick up my balance. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, I have something even better. <sighs> B. 
be my girl. Be mine. <laughs> Violet, you should have collected the check. <laughs> I'm the friends with a drying up old man. Uh -huh. Hey, see this babe. Is his money drying up? <laughs> but babes, that money for make correct sense. I need money to pay back the loan I got from the bank. Exactly. Call him. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Anyways, so I have agreed to accept Gideon's offer for a getaway. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, babes, you're joking. No, I'm not. <laughs> As in, I don't see any reason why I shouldn't go. Plus, I think I really like him. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. And all this my hard play will not get me anywhere. So, I better hop on a plane with the guy. See my friend though? Yes. Hey, someone has been cut with the love bug. For real? Yes. Hey. Uh, Mercedes? Vanilla? Just give me a second, okay? Let's make a call. Yeah, just one second, okay. Butterscotch, just move to the right a bit. All right, great. I'll be back. you sent me they're not doing that for me no they're not okay why don't you send some new girls i sent some proper women this time yeah I'm wait hold on hello how long would that take an hour why don't you make it 45 minutes 45 yeah all right cool awesome Sure. All right. Uh. Mom, I can't 
seem to find the iron in my room. Mom? Mommy? Mommy? Mom, what's wrong? Uh, mommy, please now, talk to me. What's wrong? <laughs> What's, what's that? In his office? No, in the conference room. Well, you can't go in there. Like I said before, the market share of Rosette pens is steadily expanding with the two recent orders. Dad, what's this? Can't you see I'm having a meeting? I'm sorry, Daddy, but I'm not living here until I get an explanation for this. Uh, excuse me. I'll be right back. That was unnecessary. Coming in the way you did. It was really that. What is it with you? Look, your mom and I have grown apart recently. Dad, this, this tears you apart. This tears us apart. I spoke to dad. Okay. What did he say? Um, he, he said he would give the whole thing a second thought. But mom, I really have to ask, what happened? What happened between you and dad? Hello, Dad. Hello, son. How are you doing? It's going good, Dad. How about you? How's your day going? Very well, thank you. Did you get the files I sent your way? Uh, yes, I did. Um, I'm almost done working on them, actually. Great. I always knew I could trust you. Um, when you're done, send them in, all right? Of course, Dad. We'll do it. Okay, okay. Are you coming to the house today? I am. All right, see you then. All right, see you. Okay.
pig head. <laughs> it's been three days. Where are you coming from? And where have you been? From under your skirt? Yeah. Keep asking me stupid questions. And since when do we become agents, huh? It's a year difference. A whole year? Wow. It's a long time. How's Messi? I'll know how she was if I was with her. Okay? But I, uh, my hope she's fine. Wait. <sighs> Ken! What? If you went with Mercy, then where were you? You know, frankly, nothing I do should interest you. But if you must know, I was out working, okay? It has something to do for Dad. Oh, Dad. Yes, Dad. And will you stop following me around and asking questions? But I know Ken. I'm the star of the family, but you don't have to be paparazzi. Ken! Hey! Whoa. <sighs> okay. Okay. Bless us, O Lord, and bless this thy gift, which we are about to receive through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Mm. Mm. Um, this really tastes nice. Oh, <laughs> thank you, baby girl. You know you also have a hand in it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Take some credit. Yay! Wait, mom. I was just giving credit to everybody. She doesn't know the first thing about cooking. You're not getting any credit. You better mind your business. I'm minding my business. It's the food I'm eating. You're not getting any credit. No credit. <laughs> Guys, I wouldn't want to have to take any of you to the hospital because you choked on your food. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, Ken is the one going to the hospital and it will not be from choking. Really? What will it be from? My punch. The next time you shut your door in my face. Oh, <laughs> I see you're so hurt from that. Oh, my little baby. I like to see you try it though. Hey guys, eat your food. <sighs> um, son, did you send those files over to the office? Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. Okay. Your secretary didn't tell you? She must have forgotten. Right. I did send him, though. Okay, okay. <sighs> Who keeps calling me? Hey, mind your business. Jeez. <sighs> okay, just excuse me, Jesus. Mind your business. to talk to you guys. I enjoyed dinner. I, I enjoyed how the whole family came together. I enjoyed how we're all there together as a family. 
happy again as it used to be. But now, I don't even know what's going on anymore. Dad, you used to teach us that if we ever had any misunderstanding within us as a family, that we must sort it out. You said finding the easy way out was never an option. But that's not the case now, is it? Because I, I don't understand how my mother, who used to be so, so strong, so determined and, and hardworking and full of life, joy. How oh, she grew so cold. There's barely life in her eyes. She cries all the time, Dad. She cries when you're away. She cries when you're around. Do you notice? We need to fix this. We need to fix this family. This family that had its glory days. This family was built on love and support and joy. <laughs> Even as a wealthy family that you, you trained us right. <laughs> it's the discipline and the stand for us and lots and lots of correction. <laughs> and mom, I've asked you this before and you weren't forthcoming with your answer. Mom, what is going on? What's happening? I don't like this. I love you both. But I don't love how this family is now. I feel there is so many misunderstandings, so many things that needs to be sorted out. And I really hope, I really hope and pray that it gets sorted out. <laughs> that, that's it. That's all I have to say. <laughs> My birthday is next week. And I will not be celebrating it. Let's fix this. Please, let's, let's fix this family. And I, I pray that by my next birthday, we we'll would all celebrate together as a happy family. Again. <laughs> or not. But I really hope not will not be the case. Good night.
Hello, beautiful. Oh, my God. Still got some sprints in these legs, you know? I can see that. You look good. Thank you. Slow down. Stop by the office. What for this time, Mr. Chris? Will my balance be paid? Just come. We'll talk about your balance, but I've got a fresh offer for you. Look, all I want is for my balance to be paid, Mr. Chris. Slow down. By the way, how do you know where I walk out? I got my ways, you know. Please, please, please slow down. <laughs> slow down. <sighs> so what happened to your sprint? It has low mileage. <laughs> OK, I'll slow down so you don't collapse and your family comes for me. Thank you, thank you. <sighs> so what were you saying? Stop by the office. Will my balance be paid? Just come. What time? This afternoon, say, 3 p.m. OK, I'll be there. See you, Mr. Chris. You have a beautiful sprint. Violet, please come in. So, how are you? I'm fine, sir. And you? I'm fine, too. Just feeling a little muscle stretch in my thigh areas because of the run we did this morning. I'm sorry I made you go through that. Oh, no. Don't be sorry. I'm inspired to start running myself. <laughs> I didn't know you exercised every morning. I do, sir. Father, I've told you. Cut out all this, sir, sir, sir. Let's be a little less formal. Anyway, the reason I invited you is uh, to give you this, your balance. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. There you go again, sir, sir, sir. Anyway, to the next item on my list. Did you think about my proposal? What proposal? You know now. I don't remember telling you I was going to think about it. Oh, come now, Violet. You're a smart young woman. You ought to know when a man is serious. Look, I not only want to make you my girlfriend, I want to make you my wife. You have a wife, sir. That'll cease to be once you agree to marry me. I'm about to be divorced. Look, sir, this, this, this whole thing is getting very personal. I'm quite uncomfortable. I'm sorry, I have it's to okay. leave. It's okay. It's okay. Look, Violet. Be my wife. I like you a lot. You are smart. You are beautiful. Can I go? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's put a pin in this conversation for now. Let's talk about something else. Uh, there's this new company I signed a deal with, and um, to cement my relationship with them, I'd like to host an exclusive party for them at my house. I'd like to use your services for that. Just a little something, you know. My entire family will be there, and uh, it'll be a great opportunity for you to meet them. you to meet my family. Diane? Oh, darling. 
This is Diane, my wife, and this is Violet. Oh, nice to meet you, Mom. Nice to meet you too, dear. You're very beautiful. Oh, thank you. That's very nice of you to say. And you're beautiful too. <laughs> thank you, Ma. You're welcome, dear. Here is Nene, my daughter. Hi. Hi, Nene. Nice, nice to meet, to meet you. you. V? <laughs> I like the sound of that, V. <laughs> <laughs> and over there is my only son, Kenneth. Dad, I'm also your only daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Ken. Nice to meet you. The pleasure is entirely mine. <laughs> well, that's my family. And this is Violet, the young lady who is responsible for the wonderful service we're getting here. Great job. Thank you. Oh, it's really nice. Thank you. All right. Enjoy your party, everyone. Have Thank a good you. time, guys. Thank you, Violet. have a quick chat with you. So, how long have you known my dad for? Six weeks, two months, maybe. Hmm. How did you get to know him? Okay, wait. Is this, um, is this mm. an interview of some sort? No, this is not an interview of any sort. And I'm just trying to get to know you. Okay. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Did you just slap me? And I'll do that again if you don't keep your distance. Violet? Violet! with you and the new girl. Which new girl? Violet. Is it? Violet. I don't understand. I asked you what's with you and the new girl. What part of the question don't you understand? Hey, don't start with me this night. All right? Are you sleeping with her? <laughs> Is she my replacement? <laughs> Diane, trust me, I will not allow you to provoke me this night. All right? If you want to see a reflection of yourself, take a good look in the mirror. It's right there. What do you mean by that? You know damn well what I mean by that. Just, just what missed. Just one mistake I made, and I've been apologizing for it all this while. Please, 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 not the tears again this night. You know what? I'm out of here. Where are you going? To the guest room. Chris! Chris! Christopher! Oh, Chris! Appear on my one and only baby girl. I beg you, you come, 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 come
If you don't give me gist, I'll send you back where you're coming from. <laughs> so just me, just me. You know, for a moment, I thought you'd marry that guy. You know? ah. Like you just dash out yourself. No, for free. no, no, no. See, eh? He couldn't get enough of me. He didn't uh -huh. want to let me go. Uh -huh. Hey. So the son is after you too. <laughs> Amaka, when did I say that? Ah, that's what it looks like now. I said he tried to kiss me. Wait till cause I like and kiss. Uh -huh. It's after you. <laughs> hey. So now you have become common family interest. CFI. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, common what? Ah, Maka, come on now. That's so disgusting. Me, come on. <laughs> yes, now, as they yes, don't be nice. busy your matter. Ah, ah. Hey, wait, but tell me, tell me. So, is this guy hot or what? <laughs> Why are you asking me? I thought you just came back from a vacation with a man you love. I beg you, I beg you, I beg you, make a hear what? Hey. So now, so that a millionaire I catch fire. But babes, I told you I hey. cannot date a married man for the whole world. I huh. beg, I beg, beg. Let me see the note you say he sent to you this morning. Hey, hey. Ah. Oh, this guy is so sweet. What's so sweet about that? <laughs> this is a man that wanted to shove his tongue into my mouth the very first night he saw me. Uh -huh. Is that not what he's apologizing for here? I cut you guys some slacks, Jerry. Amaka, I think we need to go get some drinks and food. Because mm. if I say you get some gist way, you know, they tell me, I'm, I don't understand this, ah. this, this your style. What? You babes are begging for the You are your shakara, eh? Ah, it's too much. Oh, babes, <laughs> if I don't do shakara, who go do? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Kenneth. Wow, you remember me? Of course I do. It's difficult to forget you. Did you get my note? Yes, I did. I'm sure you're wondering what I'm doing here. I literally can't wait to find out. <laughs> you're a smart girl, you know that, right? I've been told. So, why are you here? Well, uh... I just came to apologize in person, you know? So you know my apology wasn't a full one. I never thought your note was a full apology, so it's fine. So you forgive me? Yeah, I do. Yeah? You sure? <laughs> Kenneth, I'm, I'm not a kid. Yes, I forgive you. So should I say thank you? <laughs> <laughs> That's up to you. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Violet, why don't I take you out for a drink? You know, to celebrate our newfound friendship. Is there a friendship? Uh, I thought oh, we... Oh, oh, look, look, don't push it, okay? I've forgiven you and that's it. No drinks, nothing. Have a nice evening. <laughs> Come on. Hello? What's up? My nigga, what's in the soap now? Why you retreat to the background like that? Because I've been busy, bro. What's up? What's up? What's up? My guy, I get some shankies for you. Full sweet mama, as fresh as you did like then. But I'm not interested, okay? Listen, I don't have time these days for this kind of stuff, okay? Ah, my kidney talk so. Boy, you know if you see this kind of mommy's anywhere for this town, no? 
it's a no for me, okay? Listen, let's talk later. Hey, big man. Hey. Where are you? Oh. You scared me. What? Scared? What are you thinking of? Nothing. <laughs> Yo, you can lie to the whole world, but I know you, so out with it. What were you thinking of? I wasn't thinking of anything. Not currently thinking of anything. I don't have plans to think of anything. Is this about that girl? The one from the party, um, Violet? I'm just feeling a little bit down, okay? I don't know what you're talking about. What girl? Whoa, whoa. That's a lot of pretense. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, whatever you're doing, just remember there is Mercy. And that one is kind of your wife. Mercy. We're not even dating, okay? So that's that. <laughs> but she thinks you guys are. Her thinking we're dating and us actually dating are two totally different things. Ken, you made her believe you guys were dating. Oh, please. I made a lot of women believe a lot of things, OK? That doesn't mean nothing. Not about our life anymore. <laughs> Who are you kidding? You're not about what? I'm serious. <sighs> if you're really being honest, then it's definitely that girl. Okay. You know what? I think I'm done here, okay? You can have the space to yourself. Whoa, whoa, chill. Come on, chill. Hey, don't follow me, okay? That means I'm saying the truth, right? Don't follow me oh and ask me these God. questions. Oh, my God. You just met her. You're already asleep. Well, I was about to go to sleep until you decided that it was in your best interest to make that an unattainable possibility. Take it easy, darling. I told you, don't call me that. What do you want? I just want us to talk. Are we not talking? Okay, um, Nene told me the other day that you said something about having a rethink on a divorce decision. I just want to know where we are on that. Darling, I don't want to lose you. And I won't stop apologizing for what happened. I am so sorry. Can we please not talk about this now? Can we? Uh, okay. When do you want us to talk about it? I don't know. Just not tonight. I'm tired and I need to sleep. Okay. Good night, darling. Good night. Hello, Violet. Oh, good day, sir. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Sir, you didn't tell me you were coming. You would have known if you had answered any of my calls or replied any of my text messages. 
Sit down, sir. <sighs> Violet, I've told you to cut out this, sir, uh, sir, sir, that you, you keep throwing all over the place. Hmm? What brings you here, Mr. Chris? <sighs> okay. I came to find out myself why you have decided to completely ignore me. Why? Look, Mr. Chris, look, this won't work. What won't work? This. It's not happening. It won't happen. I see you as a reputable client and a superior. Makes it even more uncomfortable when you ask me not to call you, sir. Is that your problem? Hmm? All right. You can call me sir if that makes you feel better. As long as you'll still be mine. Makes it even sexier. Listen, Violet. Here's my plan for both of us. Dad. Kenneth. What are you... What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Uh, well, as you know, um, Violet and I will do business. Oh. Just one of those stop buys. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll see you at home. Oh, yeah, sure, of course. You again? Me again. I see you remember where I walk. Oh yes, I do. I, uh, I do. So, how are you? Well, uh, I'm doing fine. I'm good. How about you? How are you doing? I'm fine too. Apart from stress from work, I'm fine. Are you making me stand on purpose? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> uh, uh. Sit down, Ken. Thank you. That's so nice of you. <sighs> so, uh, you still work with my dad, I see. Yes, I do. He just left here. Yeah, I ran into him at the door. You did? I did. Hmm. Okay. I would like to be able to call you. You want my number? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. So why didn't you figure that out just the way you figured out my addresses? Oh no. Uh, I'd rather get this personally from you, you know. And besides, it's another good excuse to see your beautiful face again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Thank you. One more thing. Oh my God. <laughs> There is one more thing. There is, actually. So it's going to be a long day. Uh-uh, no, I promise you. It won't take much of your time. Okay, shoot. Let me take you out. I'm sure you know what my answer to that is already. Yeah, I know, and that's why I came here personally, to ask you, okay? I mean, what would it take for me to take you out on a date? Baby. 
You didn't go to work today. No, I uh, decided to work from the house. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, I'm feeling fine. I'm feeling fine. You know, I just didn't feel like going to the office today. Is there something you want to tell me? <sighs> Mom, there's nothing I'm not telling you, okay? Everything is fine, and you should know that when I say, Hey, Mom, what are you, do what are you doing? I'm working. Uh... <clears throat> Until you tell me what is wrong, I'm not giving this laptop back. <sighs> is it the girl? Mom, come on. Son, you can always talk to me. Is it Violet? Okay, okay. How come everybody's guessing Violet? Oh, so it is her. <laughs> anyway, um, I am not guessing. Yes, Nene said something about your mood. Oh, I'm from her theory. Violet has everything to do with it. That big mouth, she just can't keep it shut. So it's her. <laughs> what is happening, son? She wouldn't even agree to go out with me. It's her. Of course it's her. I can't stop thinking about her. Everything I do, I'm thinking about her. Have you told her about your feelings? <sighs> Oh, she hasn't even agreed to go on a date with me. Come on, son. It is the usual women's thing. Don't worry. She will come around. But make sure you treat her differently. How? How do you mean? You think I don't hear your stories? <laughs> what stories are you talking about, Mom? <laughs> <laughs> the dawn. Oh. The dawn. The dawn. <laughs> Mom, come on. Take your laptop, please. Let me go and check on my pot. Take it easy. The dawn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Jesus>. Hey. <laughs> Thank you, darling. What do you want to drink? I make a mix for me. So, whiskey and a bit of pineapple juice. Why are you whispering? Uh, oh. <laughs> you are drama. Um, whiskey and pineapple juice? Yes, I'm out of the whiskey, please. Sure, coming right <laughs> up. Coming right up. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Hey. Oh, girl. Thank you, darling. When did you get back? Oh, well, darling, I left Paris two weeks ago. Oh. And then I flew to Milan for the fashion week. Oh, hold up. Mm -hmm. You were at the Settimana de la Moda? Oh. I see you know you're Italian. <laughs> Rusty. <laughs> Anyways. I was at Sentimana de la Monde. Aww. And after then, I flew back to Paris to pick up my jewelry before I flew back to London. <laughs> I just got back from London two days ago. You know, it can be quite dramatic. Uh -huh. But really, you've had a very, very eventful period. Oh, it's been quite eventful. <laughs> <laughs> All over. <laughs> All over, really. Yeah. So, where's everyone? By everyone, you mean Kenneth, right? Quite frankly, no. Girl. no. No, but, but 
it's only right I know we are dad and mom are, isn't mm -hmm. it? I see you. I see you. Anyway, they're all out. Um, dad, uh, his office. Mom, a friend's place. They left me here all by myself. I'm alone, princess. Oh, I see. And connect? Oh, Ken. Um, no one actually knows where Ken goes to. I mean, he could probably be at the office, probably. Did you call him? Oh, yeah, but his number is not connecting. Oh, um, he changed his lines. Okay, that explains it then. But you know what? Enough of connect. I'll call him when I have this time. Yeah. Tell me, what's been going on with you? Me? Yes. Girl, you left me here to tour the world. <laughs> My life has been boring. I don't believe that. It's true. I do not believe that. Mm. <laughs> this is good. Where did you pick it up? Girl, I've been around the world. Yeah, you have. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you need to know that he likes you. Girl, I don't know. I just don't want to be a victim of reoccurring heartbreaks. Uh-uh. But how do you know who is for you if you don't give them a chance? Chances are what creates a venue for disappointment. <laughs> but I kind of like him. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> of course you do. It's written all over your face. But I'm scared. No, don't be. Look, you'll be fine. Hmm? But the problem is... What if he doesn't ask me out on a date again? Because I've turned him down severally, like countless times. Uh -huh. If it all vex for me. <laughs> See your life, Madame Shakara. Give me a minute. I have in mind. Oh, come on. We still live in the same house. We sleep in the same bed. We should have conversations. What do you have in mind, Diane? Oh, thank you. I think we should go to somewhere very nice, just like we did before. <laughs> I mean before you fucked up, huh? Oh, oh darling. Oh. Darling, I won't stop being sorry. Please, just allow Diane, me. Diane, please. Please, just allow me to do this one thing. I really want to. Please. All right. Okay. Um, text me the details, all right? Thank you. Thank you, darling. Come on in. Oh, Eric. What's up, bro? Yeah, I'm good. You have a pistol. I have a... Hi. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. All right, uh, I will be right in my office. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have a secretary? Um, maybe for the same reason you don't. <laughs> this is a surprise, a big one. Is it? It is. There is a truth to that. Um, how about you sit? Do you mind? Um, that won't be necessary, except you're very, very busy. Uh, how come? Because I am here to take you out on a date. Wait, what? Are, are you serious? I am. You're serious? Yes. <laughs> okay, that, this is a first. I mean, 
No girl has ever taken me out on a date before. Well, that's why my name is Violet. Uh, <laughs> I remember that one for the longest. Okay, so shall we? Yeah, sure. Uh, just give me a second. Let me Yes, of course. Let's go. Uh, wait, hold on. You're not pranking me, are you? Oh, come on, Ken. No, let's go. You're serious? Yes. Wow, she's actually serious. <laughs> you look beautiful, by the way. So, where's your car? Over there. Oh, great. We'll use yours. OK. George? So hey, catch. Drive my car back to the house, OK? Nice car. Thank you. So, where exactly are you taking me? Ah, relax, darling. You just need to relax. You keep calling me that. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Um, first, we have to go and get food to eat. Then afterwards, we do other things. Uh, what other things? Look, woman, I don't have all day, all right? Whatever we're doing, we should do it fast. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Wait, wait. What? Kenneth is there. Where? There. Ah, oh. oh, he's with a woman. Let's go and say hi to him. He's with Violet. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with Violet? Take me out of here now, otherwise I'll go back to my it's office. It's okay. Let's, Just let's, relax. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, let's okay, go. relax. Oh. What? I thought I saw your mom. My mom? Probably someone else. Yeah, probably. So you still haven't told me how you found out that this is my favorite restaurant. I told you, I'm psychic. <laughs> no, I'm serious, how did you know? Okay, see, I don't want to lie to you, so let's not talk about that, okay? Fair enough. You work with your dad? Yep. And that's you, or that's what your father wants you to do? Well, I grew up watching him play with numbers, you know? And it was like magic. I mean, I see him as a contractor with magical hands, and I, his protege. So far, understudying him, has that been fulfilling for you? No complaints at all. You know, I mean, I'm living my life's dream, right? My life's dream is to carry on my father's legacy. And hopefully one day I pass it down to my son. What if he is not interested? Uh, well, I guess I'll have to train my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure your daughter would be a very good businesswoman with a father like you. I hope our son is as so, well, you know. Right. <laughs> did you wait, did you just say our son? Did I say that out loud? Yes, you did. Yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to. That was what I was thinking, Chef, but I didn't mean to say it out. Not yet, anyways. Hmm. Don't run away from me, okay? <laughs> no, I, I wasn't going to. <laughs> okay. Good. Good. I like you. A lot. Violet. I know. And... I know. Wow. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. You don't have to sulk. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You know, it's a bit too early to sulk anyway. Now you're smiling. That's more like it. Yeah. Oh, I see your car made it home safe. Yeah. 
I told you to get here right on time. I had a good time, Ken. Well, I had a great time as well. <laughs> Thank you for the treat. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> the last time I tried to do this, I got a deserving slap. I think I'm ready for another slap. Ken, are you... That was unexpected. <laughs> it wasn't? I expected it. <laughs> Such a naughty boy. <laughs> so I hope to see you soon. Yeah, sure, definitely. Um, thank you for today. <laughs> you said that already. Yeah, well, you know, I'm just... What the fuck? What, what, what the hell? Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! You fuck! Kill it! Now, who's the naughty one? Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll definitely give you a call. That better. Yeah. Bye. Bye. I got you. <sighs> Hello, guys. Mercy. Oh, don't miss me. Who was that woman? Uh, what, what, what woman? Don't ask stupid with me. Who was that woman, Kenneth? No, you can't understand. Who was that woman? The one that you kissed? The one that just dropped you off? Violet. That's her name. She's my girlfriend. What was that you just said to me? Oh, you heard me. She's my girlfriend. Her name is Violet. She's really beautiful. I'm... Oh, okay. This is getting normalized and I don't like it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I, I'm, I'm so sorry. Did you see that? This is the woman you guys are pushing me to marry. No, Kenneth, I'm sorry. Excuse me. I, I, didn't, I didn't mean oh, to do yeah. that. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'll talk to him. She's just sure? angry. Yeah. Mommy, mommy, I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. You shouldn't to. have slapped him. Especially when I'm seated here. No, no. It is wrong. Mommy, I'm sorry. It is wrong. I didn't mean to. What do you mean you are with my son now? And what about me? No, I don't. Would you mind telling me? You should be able to realize that I still love you, Christopher. I didn't know you were around. Of course. How will you know? When you're busy talking to a woman, your daughter's age, trying to talk her into living her own lover, your own son. And how does that have anything to do with you? I assure you it has everything to do with me. I am still your wife. For the time being. I know it may be for the time being, Christopher, but I still love you and I'm still your wife. <laughs> I made a mistake. Just one mistake, Chris. It wasn't just a mistake. Wow. Oh. Dad, what's, what's going on? Your voices are everywhere. Mom?
kids. I want to tell you something. Diane, yeah. don't. No. They deserve to know. You don't have to tell them. They deserve to know what? I cheated. About a year ago, I cheated on your father. What? what? Yes. And that is why he wants a divorce. Wait, what? Uh, okay, what's going on here? How come I'm just finding out about this? Can I just calm down? Dad, don't tell me to calm down. My family's falling apart and I'm the last one to find out. Ken, you were never around. You knew about this too? Of course I knew. Jesus Christ. You gotta be kidding me. Look. There isn't going to be any divorce, all right? There will be no divorce and that's it. <gasps> Mom, and I was blaming dad all this while. <gasps> I'm sorry. I am sorry, Chris. I am truly sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, does this mean my family is back together? I'll take that as a yes. Okay, Daddy, can I trip part to this Saturday? Just us and a few friends. Hello, Daddy. Honey, you can do whatever you want. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> Woo! Thank you. All right, guys. Good night. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ladies first. Thank you. Oh my god. Hold on. <laughs> Excuse me. You know, you look way too good. Hi. Hey, Mom. <laughs> good day, Ma. Thank you for coming, Violet. Thanks for having me. <laughs> I hope he's taking good care of you like you deserve. <laughs> he's trying his best. <laughs> ah, come on. <laughs> Thank you for saving my marriage. Humbling surprise. Come in. Thank you. Can I offer you anything, ma? Ah, no, no. Don't worry yourself. I won't be long. Okay. Violet, honey, my son is suffering. And I'm here so we can talk about him. I know this might seem vague to you right now, but I know my son very well. Whenever he is deep into something, 
he is never himself. And I can tell you, he is deep into you. Ma. I don't, I don't know, I don't know what to say. I understand. Here is what I want you to do. Think about my visit tonight. And think about Kenneth. Then tomorrow morning, take him to his favorite restaurant. Here, the address. If you don't spend time with him, you won't know him. I want you to think right and act right. Ah, <laughs> you thought right and you acted right. Thank you. Oh, have fun, guys. Ah. Yeah. <laughs>